everybody, how's it going? It's a little loud today. The grain back is going where uh, we got a call to haul canola in our canola contract. Another one, our second one. Oops, sorry. So, as you can see, we're loading up, but it is soft and muddy from the spring breakup. Actually, we're about two weeks early on breakup. We should be... Normally we have a... Normally about this time, March, end of March, we still got a foot of snow yet. Uh, most of the time the melting has started, but... Uh, yeah, we're, we didn't have that much snow. And it got uh, pretty warm. And uh, we're pretty much done with snow. A little bit of ice, a little bit of snow. And, uh, spots where the sun couldn't get at it, but we're pretty much uh, done. I got, uh, I got, they're loading up. I've got a little problem with my roll tarp. See what happens on this truck is this exhaust pipe has to be moved. We just haven't got around to move it to it. And uh, the, the tarp, this little plastic piece on the end tarp, which puts all the cable, wraps the cable, it melts if you leave it here. It's okay when it's idling, but if you ever forget it when it's running, so usually we don't undo the tarp, we put it about here. But I have to get a piece of pipe and move this pipe over to about here and about that high. Anyway, I'm going to take this off and try and fix it. Right, Sean? That's right. So, I'm going to take my hack job off there. Well, I had to skip uh, part of the video there. Uh, we, uh, I fixed the tarp, the, the cable. And uh, we got the, the liner stuck, so we had to use a tractor to pull ahead uh, just to fill it. And uh, I couldn't really film because it's five, six o'clock, what time is it? Six, I think it's six o'clock now. Uh, and the elevator closes at seven. So we were at Viterra, or whatever the hell they're called now. And we're just waiting to get probed. I know that sounds funny, but that's what it is. There's your sample probe right there. And they, you just go on the telephone there and tell them whose grain is whose and who's it for, and then they will probe you. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, as soon as it, uh, as soon as it goes, I'll let you see it there. Okay, there it goes. Because the other truck went right inside now. So what he does is he just pushes the probe all the way to the bottom of the box. And it uh, sucks the seed up through that, it's a vacuum. And he just sits there and uh, gathers enough for a sample and he'll do that once on each side there. So, get you a little closer there you can see. Should be coming up pretty soon. You can see that hose flexing there. Yeah, there he goes. They just have a camera there, and the guy operates it from from inside. He should swing over to the other side now. And it's just telescopic rams there. And that's how they do that. And then as soon as he's done that truck, he'll do, he'll probe me. <laughs> that, that never gets old. There, he's done. Well, they finished uh, testing the canola. So now we're gonna drive up into the elevator. 
tall building. Lori's already in there. Stupid cracked windshield. Had this window uh, windshield replaced and it didn't even last for two hours. A rock in it. And we stop. Take a long time to be in the elevator. unloading I didn't really get any footage of unloading because uh, there's a guy behind me waiting I didn't didn't want to hold up with the camera so I had to uh, pay attention to what I was doing over there but yeah that's pretty much all it is you just get uh, get your sample at the sample probe uh, dump they'll tell you when to dump and uh, then you just drive out and get your ticket uh, it tells you how many bushels you had how much dockage there is what the moisture is testing all that good stuff uh, one time I was in here and I I uh, was waiting for you you always wait for the guy to tell you when to dump and uh, Quite a, quite a few years ago I was in here and uh, uh, there was a miscommunication where I, I went in there and I the guy was on the phone and he actually just went like this to me to kind of say hi but I thought he meant okay you're good to go so I went and dumped and dumped on top of somebody else's canola so what we did was uh, we all, I was hauling quite a few loads at the time so we just went by my average bushels that the truck holds and we guessed so uh, I always double check all the time tell me is it good are you sure <laughs> so yeah but that's uh that's it for today it's almost seven o'clock and they're closing soon so uh we're gonna haul I think either this truck or the other truck and we're that that's all so we'll be out of canola we're done uh, yeah, and that's why I like to haul in the winter time because road bands and soft uh, ground and all that. So yeah. Anyways, uh, make sure you subscribe, click, click like, and come back for more.